are your initial impressions before you look at any of the tapes and review it? Good to get get one out of the way. That was a lot of fun. Um, you know, that comeback that we made uh, towards the end of the game, that was a lot of fun to be a part of and watch from the bench for a little bit. But, um, you know, we got another opportunity tomorrow. You took your first shot, I think, seven minutes in. Was that a matter of you kind of getting used to the speed and the spacing and being more aggressive? Yeah, just, you know, seeing what's available and taking what's there. Um, you know, our coaches preaching unselfishness and togetherness. And, you know, once we started doing that down the stretch, you could see that we started to come back a little bit. You know how hard you're trying to uh, be a teammate. Is there any chance that you uh, weren't aggressive enough with your own uh, Probably at times. I mean, you know, that's just, you know, for me to go home after this and watch film. But, um, yeah, no, I feel like there was a few times that I could have uh, passed an open shot. What was the speed and the spacing like your first glimpse of the NBA? Uh, for the first couple of minutes, I was anticipating it to be a lot faster, but um, it's not as fast as I thought. So once I settled in and calmed down a little bit, everything you know started to feel a lot better. And more comfortable. Uh, like like he said, not passing open shots. Um, you know, it's it's good to move the ball, share the ball with your teammates, but at, at sometimes if you got an open shot, you got to take it. What's maybe the one big thing that you want to instantly correct trying to go into tomorrow? Um, probably just being more patient with the ball. Um, defensively, too. Probably just, you know, boxing out better. Um, I think I only had that one steal, so I could probably get up and pass and lose a lot more, too. How did your emotions uh, leading into this one compare to your emotions leading into that scrimmage you had met? Uh, I mean, you know, the, the scrimmage is behind closed doors. There's not too many people there, but... You know, this is an arena filled with fans, so I was a little nervous at first, but, um, you know, like I said, the first couple of minutes after I kind of got a feel for the game, I settled in. Uh, did you get any words of encouragement from your, your Wizards teammates, Rui, Denny, Gavin, Cruz, or any of those guys? Yeah, Ma Monte, he, he told me let's go on the sideline, so that was good to hear from him. But, um, you know, even the guys on the bench uh, today, they were, they were really trying to boost everybody. What did you think of the way Jordan played, Jordan Shaq? Play really good. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen him in practice. He can shoot the shit out of the ball. He's got a nice release. Um, you know, if, if he keeps playing like that, we'll, we'll have a good chance to win tomorrow. Where do you feel that the Withers are just trying to get you position wise comfortable uh, during these summer league games? Uh, I mean, m most of the games that I played off the ball, but um, you know, I'm, I'm willing to play any role that they need me to play. Uh, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, going to the game tomorrow, they're going to tell me to be a little bit more aggressive and just not like come out shooting every shot I, I can get, but just when they're there, take them. Um, I think we're a little passive in the first half. Uh, we weren't talking very much on defense, and they came out hitting their shots and they came out on point. So um, we just went in the locker room and said, just not how we're going out. Uh, we just got to pick it up. So credit to everybody in there, we did that. How did you feel like you individually played? Um, not going off the stats, I just felt pretty comfortable out there. Um, I'm, I didn't get as many threes to fall as I would have liked, but I didn't feel rushed or anything like that. Um, definitely a, a lot different from last year. The game was a lot faster. I was a lot slower, so uh, I'm excited that at least the work that I've been putting in has, has been able to be shown. Yeah, I thought he played well. Um, it's always hard to come into your first game. You know, everybody's playing so fast. I mean, that team especially. I mean, I think they were at least a couple of three-year guys, NBA World Minute guys. So it was a good, a good game for all of us, to be honest, playing pretty much their NBA team, um, even though they're young. And, and, you know, I think he played well. He was aggressive. You know, as, as you get older, you get to pick your spots better. Uh, just that I continue to get better and I've gotten a lot better at uh, everything that I do. Uh, I continue to showcase the ability to shoot the ball. Uh, but also the fact that I can do all these things if they're closing out on me too hard and I can drive to the basket and finish the right play, play hard on defense and show that I'm not better than do the thing. Uh, 
that I don't even want to use the word adversity, but I'm not bright enough to think of a better word. So how does he how does he bounce back? Maybe a moment in a scrimmage where he maybe messes up or whatever. I mean. I mean, he's a rookie. You know, it's a transition period. He only uh, was in college a couple years, you know, so it's going to be a transition period for, for him, just like everybody that is in his position. Um, it's a big jump from college to the NBA. And like I said, I thought he did a good job. Just continue to be aggressive and he'll just get better as, as you continue to play at the level, at this level, um, continue to get comfortable with the guys you have on the team and, and who you are. With just so many, you know, go-go guys on the roster, how does that help your guys' with chemistry and comfortability and things like that? Yeah, it helps a lot because we went through some wars last year together. Um, it was a lot of fun playing together. I don't know how it is on the, on other professional teams, but at least our team, we were really close. Uh, we hung out after after games, so what you see us doing on the floor, helping each other up, clapping for each other, that. That love that we have is genuine, so I think that helps a lot when, you, when you're when you on the bench um, cheering a guy on and you really care about them. Obviously, you would want every shot that you shoot to go in, but that last three that kind of just, after you hit one, yeah. you kind of let out, you know, a little rage. What's the emotions like, you know, in a close game like that? You know, I just, I just, it was a good shot, you know, in and out. Uh, I wouldn't have changed anything on my shot, took my time. Uh, those are just the ones that you wish you could have back in the first game. Uh, I wasn't mad at myself. I was just more mad at the situation. That was a big shot. Had it gone down, the game might have been different. Uh, when you fight so hard to come back from a 20-point deficit, I think it might have been 25, 27. Um, you need some stuff to go your way. You need bounces to go your way a couple times. So I uh, wish, wish that that one would have been different.